But the lesson of Abraham's story is that God demands the best we have to offer, that which is most precious to us. So you must ask yourself, is this design the best thing you could offer? Except for my children. Yes. Then rest easy, Tom Builder. God will accept it. Is everyone ready? Yes, everyone will be there. But how are we to pray and contemplate like this? I don't dare even to send my choir out there. We shall get used to it, all of us. We must be thankful for all of this, for each noise, each face that disturbs us here. We shall start with the chancel, then gradually work our way from east to west. That's the way it's done, the way I was taught to do it. I value your enthusiasm, my dear Mason, but so far we're only cleaning up. I haven't even considered hiring a master builder yet. Neither you, nor anyone else. May I show you some drawings? By all means. When we walk around the site, we mark where the walls will be, the pillars, the doors and buttresses. Now for that, we need a plan like this, to tell us where to place our pegs and string. Is this how birds would see our church? Exactly. The nave is on the left. It has six bays. And the chancel. Here, you can see the transept. I noticed, yes. It is remarkable how much you can reveal with so few lines. Thank you, Father. The chancel will have four bays. Hmm. 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 I can see the transept is two bays wide, so it will be 12 in total. It does look splendid, but isn't that rather small? Well, can you afford to build it bigger? I have trouble affording it at all. The king grants us timber and stone and wool from Shiring's pastures but only God knows if it will be enough. I don't suppose you have any idea how much this would cost. You never know what might happen, but give or take, we'll need at least 3,000 pounds. I've spent the last few weeks working out the annual income of the Priory. Here's the answer. 300 pounds a year, and we spend every penny. Go on now, show me the rest of your drawing. If you were facing the cathedral with the front wall torn down, you would see it like this. Interesting. What's that? coming out from above the entrance. The nave will be about 32 feet high and will appear even higher. Drawing the eye heavenward with its loftiness. Well said. A chamber worthy of God. I always wondered how walls this high could hold up so well. Do you recognize the aisles? Of course. I've been in quite a few churches in my time. Did you know then that their purpose is to support the nave? Fascinating. I must say, you do know your craft, Master Builder.
The walls of the nave are held by the aisles and buttresses bearing the pressure from the side. Very interesting. Now, tell me more about the construction on top. That's the tower, of course. I thought so, but why is it right above the nave? Shouldn't it be closer to the transept? Oh, don't be fooled. The tower is, of course, farther back, but one can't show depth in a drawing. Ah, of course. How high will it be? Three halves of the nave. That sounds reasonably modest. What about the other drawings? Imagine you're standing in the center of the nave, looking at the wall. This is what you see. Are those windows? Right, but that's not all. On the lowest level are the pillars of the arcade. They're joined by arches making up the bays. Through the archways you can see the windows in the aisle. Starting right in the middle is the Tribune Gallery. Shall I go on? Yes, yes, of course. I was just thinking. Keep going. On top are the clear story windows. I can see you have put a lot of thought into this. I was just wondering... How long would this take to build? You can take your time with that answer. Well, that depends on how many people you employ. If you can afford 60 masons, you could build the whole church at once instead of working from east to west. That might take eight years, maybe ten. I wish my monastic officials had your ability to think ahead and calculate. So, I need to find 200 pounds a year. It doesn't sound so bad when you put it that way. You really want to build this cathedral yourself, don't you? Yes, Father. I want you to appoint me Master Builder. Why? Because he wants to give people hope. Is that so? Then answer me this one last question. If people were to enter your church, what image would they see crowning the tympanum above the entrance? One of Judgment Day to teach people to be good? Or one of Paradise to remind them of God's mercy? Show them hell so that they're afraid to do bad things. Hmm, I'd rather see trees and animals. should be the promise of a better life. Therefore, it will show heaven. Yes. This is quite exciting, isn't it, brother? Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Francis. I'm just glad that I can be a part of this. In the past year, I was often afraid that my involvement in politics might turn out... Well... Let's just say that... I'm glad that I can still be by your side, Philip. And for that, I thank God. And I thank you too. Papa, will there be statues inside? Statues? Oh. That's enough, children. It's time you went out and played. Briar. Yes? My first wife, Agnes. She died without a priest, and she's buried in unconsecrated ground. Sometimes a man builds a chapel, or founds a monastery, in the hope that in the afterlife God will remember his piety. I just wonder, do you think my design might serve to protect Agnes's soul? God no longer asks for blood sacrifices, for the ultimate sacrifice has already been made. 
But the lesson of Abraham's story is that God demands the best we have to offer, that which is most precious to us. So you must ask yourself, is this design the best thing you could offer? Except for my children. Yes. Then rest easy, Tom Builder. God will accept it. Jack, do me a favor and give Paul these herbs, will you? But he's a monk. You don't like monks. Well, it turns out not all of them are bad. <laughs> Still, be careful before you trust any one of them. Well, your son already trusted me. Oh, yes. I know that the Builder is not his father, and I also know about you. It won't be long till they throw you out of Kingsbridge, witch. Uh, there he is. Give her a prior the welcome he deserves. Oh, um, you know, I am only following God's will. Prepare to raise the bell. Make the prior proud. <laughs> well, um... Thank you. Go on, Jack. Don't forget about Paul's herbs. What do you want? I want to help. Too bad. There's nothing you can do. I don't get why Tom likes you, you useless little turd. For all I know, you were behind that fire. What? What is it? Nothing. I'm leaving now. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, good day, boy. If you see your mother, tell her the pain's gotten worse. I think I might take her up on our offer now. Oh. Oh, don't you ever get as old as I am, boy. It is not natural. This is from my mother. Oh, bless her. Boy, whatever Remedia says, your mother is a saint. Oh, is that the bell? Can you see it from here? Bell without a cathedral. Your father certainly had strange ideas. <laughs> it might be. What's a bell? Excuse me. You. 
remember you. You're the boy with no father. Actually, I have two fathers now. Is that so? Yes. Tom Builder and Jack Sherberg. I thought you weren't the Builder's son. Well, I am now. I have to say, Pyre Philip told me there would be a lot of sheep here. I can see he wasn't exaggerating. You know Philip too? I do. He's the reason I'm here. Is he around? And he should be around somewhere. Busy man, that fellow. But don't worry. You probably won't have to look for him for long. All right. Thank you. Shall we go after them? No. Now we know where we can find them. Ha! Ho! My bishop, William Hamley, has returned to see you. Send him in, Timothy. We have much to discuss. Next time on the Pillars of the Earth, find out what happened to me and my brother Richard after the siege of our father's castle. What will the future hold in store for Kingsbridge? The Pillars of the Earth, Sowing the Wind.